Um, okay, so here's my song from the first act, and all you need to do is just picture this 17 years ago. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I grew up in the Roxbury slums with my mom and a series of bums, guys who showed me all the ways a man can fail. I got through law school by busting my ass, worked two jobs in addition to class, so forgive me for not keeping at your tail. Cause there's a chip on my shoulder And as big as a boulder With a chance I've been given I'm gonna be driven as hell I'm so close I can taste it So I'm not gonna waste it Yeah, there's a chip on my shoulder You might wanna get one as well So we did the table read of this And like a couple months, maybe even a year later We did another version of the show For investors and producers The money people So it was very high stakes And we did it standing at music stands And you know, the whole score was ready The script had gotten better And we did it, it was a success And I saw Jerry after this reading And he was just on top of the world And I said, what, what did they say? What did they say? And he was like, oh I talked to like the big money person. I was like, what did they say? And he's like, well, they only had one note. And I was like, what? what was it? He was like, uh, they said, uh, your Emmett isn't handsome enough. Aww. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he said, and he was just, he looked me straight in the face and he said, but I told him, that's the point. Don't go to parties a lot, not get used to the time that I got. Can't spend hours doing my hair and staying in shape. But I know it'll all be worthwhile when I win my first look at the trial and buy my mom that great big house out on the Cape. No, that's the chip on my shoulder. I hugged my mom and told her, with a chance I've been given, I'm gonna be driven as hell, though I can't take the day off. You need a chip on your shoulder, Little Miss Woods, comma L. Sidebar: I had an audition for celebrity director Stanley Tucci. Let's hear it for Stanley Tucci. One of our great actors. He was directing a farce on Broadway, and I went in for the, the ingenue guy. And um, I was feeling pretty full of myself, and so I had like ten pages of sides. And I did not memorize them. And I thought, I'm going to go in and just charm and razzle-dazzle and make spontaneous choices. So I got in the room, and Stanley Tucci was behind the desk, and he was so handsome and so nice. And he said, okay, let's do it. And I did the scene. It seemed to last 15 minutes and not one single laugh. I mean, truly, truly bombed. And I was buried in my pages. And he graciously said, Let's try it again, and so I did it again, and 15 long minutes later, I had tr well and truly bombed. I mean, this is true, it was, the lesson to me was, was I would never, ever not memorize my size again. It was that traumatic. But he just walked around the table, and he shook my hand, and he said, and I quote, You're a very fine actor. I didn't get it. <laughs> Well, this vanity's real picturesque, but it started its life as a desk. Clear it off and find some room for books instead. Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what that is. It's for hair. Wear a hat. Spend some time improving what's inside your head. Out, out, put it in storage, sell it on eBay, leave it behind. I did a commercial once for eBay. It went a little something like, when you can't seem to find a baseball that Sign that's on eBay. A new toy you can find. A men's suit that's the line that's on eBay. Phones that ring, organize a thing. Jazz or swing, nice bling bling. That's on eBay. Buy today and it's on its way. Other you can say you'll be okay. That's on eBay. Still got it. I bumped into someone on Ninth Avenue when that commercial came out, and they were like, I'm so excited for that commercial. I'm sorry they didn't use your real voice. Oh. <laughs> um, around that time, there was a, I'm sorry, I'm not driving you nuts with the spots going from signs. Anyway, it's going to be great. Um, around that time, in the commercial community, that commercial had a little bit of what we call heat to it. 
And so my commercial agent at the time um, called me up and he said, I have some good news. There is a new cereal coming out called Raisin Bran Crunch. And they're doing, I know, it's my favorite. Still to this day. They're doing a, a national campaign. We're talking a lot of money. And get this. The breakdown, when it says what type of actor they're looking for, the breakdown for Raisin Bran Crunch said, looking for a Christian Borel type. <laughs> so I went to the audition, <laughs> looking very much like Christian Borel. And all I had to do was sit at the table. The gag was that the cereal is so crunchy that when you eat it, you can't hear your boss berating you and you get fired. So all I had to do was sit at a table, take a spoonful of dry razor bread crunch, and eat it. I didn't get it. Oh! Out, out, what are you angry? Good, so get angry. You may find a chip on your shoulder. Ooh, the room just got colder. But with the chance you've been given, why are you not driven as hell? There's just no way around it. You gotta plow through till you find it. L holds up a textbook, still in a shrink wrap. Been reading it hard, I can tell. Um, years later, I mentioned Spam a lot already. I didn't get Spam a lot three times before I got it. I would go in, I would bomb, someone else would get it. I would go in, I would bomb, someone else would get it. And finally, these three incredible, very talented, very successful, and now incredibly wealthy actors got it before me, but turned it down for various reasons. So I went in for a fourth time, feeling very dejected, and I was there doing the historian bit, and I could tell I was bombing again. And Mike Nichols, an idol, was sitting across the table. I could tell that he wasn't buying it. And I finally, I just stopped and I said, is there something I'm not doing that you want me to do? And Mike Nichols just looked at me with a big smile and said, yes. And he told me what to do. And I got it. Maybe some wise man told her, with a chance we've been given.